Hey, Ubi man, thanks for the uh, $100 super chat, like, before the stream even started. I mean, right there, you saw it. Thank you, dude. Really, really grateful. That's that's crazy, dude. Um, hello, traders. Welcome to the stream, where things are getting back to normal, so a little bit surely, more methodically. The blue light, you all know, it's, it's back, right? Uh, soon furniture will be here. Maybe soon the internet will be fixed. The, the dude just left. I mean, he's the supervisor, and God, I pray that what he thought the problem was was the problem, and it's fixed now forever, and no more issues. We'll find out. I'll know in a couple hours. A few hours. 
Anyway, so, uh, sorry for my tardiness, but I'm not gonna, like, turn them down when they're like, I'll be there in 20 minutes, is that okay? Like, yeah, we're gonna get this squared away. Anyway, so, Ethereum. Wow, what a nice, uh, engulfing candle we saw in the last four hour close. And a uh, little fall the price action, 200 moving average, still below it to around 2350. You'll probably go test that at some point soon. Uh, well above two thousand dollars, always incredible, because that's you know that's the threshold, man, where big things can happen. So I've been talking about it. Anything above two thousand, it's twenty five hundred for the most part, almost always, right? So I, why not again? I mean, Probability's high because of that. So um, our butterfly double bottom, our bullish divergence, a lot of this stuff going on across the markets, whether they're formal harmonics or not, they're just all showing similar stuff. But Ethereum's kind of like outperforming, right, where you had, um, it was Ethereum, but Ethereum Classic was outperforming Ethereum. It's like, wow, you know, it's only up 3% today, you know, but uh, this was the, the bullish Stingray joke, you know, the lower high on C and the 113% retrace, uh, which is nothing technically. But yeah, just, I mean, it hit like kind of a, a little high from June 10th, and you'd think eventually it could go up to the $75 mark, $72 mark. All about Bitcoin. Will Bitcoin <clears throat> continue to grace us by holding on and letting alts do things? The lower liquidity coins, where it takes and lower market cap, so it takes way less money to move them, like it would move Bitcoin. And you know, as this market matures and we get to much higher level levels of market cap for Bitcoin alone, it's going to be more and more boring. Volatility is going to become more and more tame. So you might have to get your adrenaline thrills on the lower market cap coins. Okay, so just looking at Ethereum, nice. Ethereum, classic, nice. And now Bitcoin that uh, is down 2.37% today. You're almost like, how? Like, oh yeah, I forgot. It closed up around 36,000 last night. We sound check. I think we're good, right? And uh, right, still off the cipher. I mean, it, okay, you know, from kind of where we were a couple days ago, you're at the same spot. I mean, the only thing you could say on the four hours, maybe convergence, bullish convergence in development, you know, the higher low. Hey, you could jump across the creek, man. A supply line was broken. The spring and the creek jumped across. A spring back test of spring and a creek. Whoa. Let's go to the 60 minute, I guess. Dude, no way. Ross taking it back. Let's go. Dang, dude. Ross tip $261. Link one hour slash 4HR thanks Macharty taking my spot back, bitches. You are right now. Were you on all caps this time? No, no, you were all not caps. What the heck? You always change it, right? Was it on the dot? Hold on. Let me make sure. Thank you, dude. Holy crap. No! It was normal Ross, because like, you know, it is a capital R, the way. Sorry, uh, Chupapi man, if you're out there. This is how it goes sometimes, you know. Thank you, man, Chupapi. But the new king, the penthouse Jesus is back in his Ross. Yeah, yeah, sweet. So, yeah, we'll look at Link, of course. Then actually, Link to BTC is very interesting. We're gonna look at that too. Since we got there, just kind of maybe, hopefully, I won't forget because I'm not used to looking at BTC pairs because they're normally trash. I did scan through a decent amount. I kind of ran out of things to scan. I was like, oh, just look at BTC pairs. And most of them just kind of suck, dude. It was like, eh. But a couple, intriguing. All right. So, um, just going to the 60 minute real quick on Bitcoin. The hidden bullish divergence beginning to play out. Yeah, yeah low. About the same low, much higher levels and negative momentum, higher lower levels, relative strength. Yep. Penny price action continuation implied it's happening right now. It doesn't really mean much, just an insignificant time scale. But obviously anything above 35k it's good. You're trying to hold that going into the new month, the new quarter, the new bi yearly candle, right? So it's really not not too bad, man. I mean things are not too bad. 34,838, you can see before 
it's a midpoint, it's a heart line, and at these heart lines are where the assets can run all the way up to the top or they can reverse and go all the way to the bottom, midpoints. So it's a rectangle. Okay, let's look at the uh, monthly candle. Let's look at it in log scale. In log scale, it's like, what are you worried about? Everything is beautiful. It's like, okay, big, big old nothing burger. That was not a very good, I mean, you're talking three months now of lower lows, three months in a row. RSI, right, still in bullish control zone, 60. Oof. Not bad. And that's it. I mean, it's like there's been not, I mean, last month was the worst. But again, three months of red. You gotta wonder, will it reverse? Hmm. Things aren't looking too bad. I mean, like, if, again, it's not really Bitcoin so much. I think it's more so the altcoins that are like, They've lost 90% of their value. I'm talking major 90% retraces, not minimum, not little Rudy Poo retraces. I'm talking about big ones, dude. And at those levels, you're showing confirmation lows. And at those levels with those confirmation lows, you're showing divergence on significant time scales. Those are all indicators and signals for reversals to upside, right? I mean, it may not happen because Bitcoin keeps dumping, but I'm just telling you the altcoins there is an argument for value on them, okay, for now. That's it. So it's not just the monthly, it's the three month, the three month, 39 minutes. Here it is, just kind of a, is it a bearish Harambe? Bearish Harambe? Still bullish control zone, 64 on the RNS sign, good. Uh, not, not, no data on MACD, not enough, whatever, okay. Remember that old, uh, it was it was almost uh, three rising, rising three methods. Anyway, uh, so kind of meh. Okay, let's just engulf that on this next quarter, all right, and make our way to 100K, that'd be great. And then you got the six month candle that's also closing, which is, uh, okay, still a higher high. It's gonna be on this close in the previous six months. In the previous six months before, nice. So not, it's not too bad in actuality. So some would be like, hey, that's a bearish hammer. I mean, it could be a bearish hammer, but it's green. So normally you want the bearish hammers to be red or a bearish hammer, or you call it also a, a shooting star. But again, it's a green shooting star. So it's not as strong as a red. I don't know, man, if we would, how much weight we put into it, you know? Okay, just, just looking at those because, again, in 38 minutes, they will be closing. Those candles will be cemented in time. Speaking of cemented in time, the S&P 500 six-month candle closed. The bi-yearly candle, when you look how stupid this is, it's getting real stupid up in here. This is log scale, sorry. But that's fine. It looks like that's it. It's like highest candle close ever. Just like last month was a bullish Mar bazoo. Hey, this is some big news from my neighbor country. Germany will allow 4,000 investment funds, managing $1.8 trillion, to invest up to 20% in hashtag Bitcoin starting tomorrow, July 1st. I thought that news already broke like a month or two ago. I guess like this is happening now though. There's the date. So it's cool. And bullish Mar bazoo last month this is almost the same but uh just just crazy dude all right it's getting linear scale so you can see it it's insane right like that's that's the tech bubble top that is the global financial crisis top hello welcome to insanity sorry this is hidden it's beautiful dude okay so dow jones there's gonna be a wick on the top yep there's a wick on top Look at this though. You want to see something nuts? This is history, okay, that happened today on close. This is the first bi yearly candle that has cracked above this, what would be considered a supply line. The first anchor point goes back to the month of July, 1929, the great crash of our, not our time, but a couple times back. Oh, let me, have, that's hidden too. Dang, dude, what the heck? So annoying. You see it? 1929. And then the tech bubble, right? One and two anchor points. And look at us now. A, a six month close above that trend line today. 
So I, I guess uh, Jesus chimes for the Dow Jones. That's cool, dude. That's right. We got Yummy Blades. The Fed's been pumping the market since 2008. We got a debt economy, right? It's your own bow, man. Bruh. Oh my god, he's tipping me in Dogecoin. No way the real Jerome Powell would tip me in Doge, right? Jerome Powell tipped $25.23. Can we look at clean energy fuels? I just ate five Teresa tacos. 100.000000000 Doge. Uh, Jerome Powell, I don't think don't think you understand. It's Wednesday. It's not Taco Wednesday. It's Taco Tuesday, man. Thanks so much. Yeah. We can look at that. Sir. Alright, so let's look at the NASDAQ closing its by yearly candle. Yeah, oh, so that was on the weekly. There's a dark cloud cover. Sorry, it's the visibility. No, the visibility was on the monthly, I think. Let's see. The monthly candle that's closing now, right? That was technically a dark cloud cover reversal. <laughs> and it did reverse the next month that you did in October and, and bullish engulfing candle pretty much. And now you're just continuing on. Like, whatever, dude. Money printer go burr. You can't stop the stonks. All right. Are these freaking. These. All of them are white. They gotta be whitish gray. Okay, dark cloud cover right there. So, get wrecked, bearish Japanese candlestick patterns in hyper bullish conditions. I mean, it's just wild, man. Log scale, too. Oops. Yeah, we're gonna look at more of these altcoins. Just relax, man. It's a big day. It's a pretty historical day, as you could just see uh, what happened. Okay. So, back to the six months, just for a second. Freaking whack, dude. And then the QQQ, which is like the more insane version of <laughs> of the Nasdaq. Look at this, dude. Just stupid. Since the global financial crisis, money printer go burr, and it's just like, oh wow, man, that's pretty interesting. This was the uh, tech bubble popping, okay. And this is just, okay, cool dude. Would you wish crypto looked like that? <laughs> Holy crap, man. All right, so like, yeah, yeah, highest monthly candle close of all time, bi-monthly candle close, quarterly candle close of all time, all occurred just a few hours ago. Technically, this monthly candle was a bullishly engulfed the previous candle, wow. Okay, so I just wanted to look at them. All right, are we cool? All right, so let's go back to, you know, the four hour time scale, which is freaking insane. 354. You had some, uh, what you, like ConocoPhillips, S&P 500, Top Gainer today, uh, GE, Walmart, finally doing something. Altria Group, MO. Goldman Sachs, yeah, I mean, like, banks, man, still doing things. And then you had Facebook was the worst performer today, but not by, like, 1%. You know, Ford was down, Netflix was down. You know, the ones that have kind of been on fire, Nike's down, they, they pulled back today. So, okay, let's, um, can we just look at the index funds? Let's look at uh, gold real quick, you know, how we do it, man. Gold, what a nice bounce. There's some bullish divergence, yep. Some green. Can we take a look at what? Looking Ooh, I like the word watt, man. 0.1500000 LTC. Green, thanks for the 2156 of Litecoin. We'll look at watt, man. So trying to hold a very critical 1750 or 1760 area. Okay, trying to hold that, man. Very important. I mean, you still, I mean, it's not dead. The idea of this massive potential inverse head and shoulders is still alive. Uh, I mean, now at any point, you could start saying hidden bullish divergence, maybe. 
Just make a higher low than the previous lows from March, but still stay above the critical areas of congestion and all will work out. You, but you've got so much work to do, man. And that is, it's such a high market cap, right? Gold, we're talking like 10 trillion, eight to $10 trillion market cap any given day it takes so much money to move this thing compared to other assets including even apple and facebook and microsoft and google and bitcoin so you just think about that harder to move the meter that's the thing that's what i was talking about earlier what will happen to bitcoin one day when what we think comes true actually happens when bitcoin's like this it's gonna be just as difficult when you're 10 trillion dollar market cap okay so be prepared who knows how much more liquidity we're gonna have in the system by then too so uh anyway gold silver you know i'm sure it got a little bounce too yeah a little one still below that critical 26 dollar area you did engulf bullishly yesterday nice so now get follow through and get back above 26 dollars. i mean you get above that it'd be great upside Silver not near as big of a market cap as gold. It's only like, what, like uh, two trillion, one point five trillion dollar market cap silver. Okay, easier to move the meter on this. Okay, let's look at uh, let's switch gears back to crypto again, I guess, because you love it, man. Here you go. Uh, bullish engulfing candle on the last four hour close nice really nice and what i'm just talking about is like this little midpoint it's the same thing on bitcoin right where you just see it right there that that's like good man like okay heartline midpoint support resistance clearly it's real and it, could, it actually goes further back like look right here right there that little area it's like one two three times so now you get back above that, all will be well. A lot of upside, you can do that. So um, one bottom, two bottoms. Is it a double bottom, man? It is technically a confirmed double bottom it, since it has broken the neckline, no which was 1.396 trillion. What's good, Mitch? When the president, me see world. Thoughts on dollars. It's gonna say see world, dude. One more squeeze of the lemon. When you president, they see. They see, Alex. Thank you for the 25 super chat. We'll look at that, of course. One more squeeze of the lemon. We will look, okay? It's not lemonade, though. You as outlying islands. 0. 0. Is that a joint? BTC. Tommy, thanks for the uh, Bitcoin contribution and the joint. Or it's not a joint. I mean, it's not a joint. It's Bitcoin actually answering him. So, thank you, dude. Okay, so total, not too bad, man, not too bad at all. How about uh, we take a gander at, you know, we don't go here every day. Ooh, that kind of makes sense. To, you know, after seeing what Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and a few alt altcoins have done, uh, Bitcoin dominance is finally reversing some at its lowest point since the 21st, you know, so nine days ago. And it's like at session lows on the day as I'm talking to you. But hey, look, there was high and a slightly higher high, lower levels of positive momentum. First level of negative momentum you've seen since May 18th on Bitcoin dominance. Kind of made sense maybe what could happen, right? The last time we looked at Ethereum to Bitcoin, oops, Ethereum to Bitcoin, it was at a very critical area, right? Really nice. Nice. What are you doing, okay? You got, we got this range plotted out forever. Very critical zone. What'd you do with that critical zone once? Just kidding, twice. Sellers were exhausted on the second low and you bounced. You're about to confirm a daily bullish and golden candle on this one too. Uh, XABCD, nice. First level of positive momentum you've seen since June 8th. So in between this level, I mean, there's not too much until like, Eight million Satoshis. That's probably where it's headed up there, those levels. Okay. We're not talking about Sopranos and YouTube, man. Camera's frozen? Oh my god! Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I use the other webcam because of this crap. I'm, I don't even know, man. It's I'm gonna have to just like delete the other one uh, soon. We're just gonna have to deal with this. We're, we're gonna get through it on this stream. Sorry. Everyone's freaking out. 
Mm, it was scary, man. 26 minutes till all kinds of history, all kinds of closes gonna happen, all right? Hey, you know, uh, we understand that all the time when monthly, quarterly, bi-yearly candles close, you get institutions and big money, family offices, whoever, reallocate their capital. And this is where you can definitely see shifts in the market. You can see cyclical shifts. You can see actually like, hey man, it was looking real bad. And all of a sudden, all the, the candle closes happen and then things change. And you really gotta like where altcoins look with all this coming, right? Maybe this is the shifting time. We're the part two of the crazy cycle, right? We've only had two insane cycles. We Now we think this is the third one we're in, we think for Bitcoin. Monthly red bullish hammer on BTC. Monthly red bullish hammer on BTC. I don't know, was it? Anything in here? I don't know, nah, nah. It's more like an indecision candle. Nah, that's no hammer. That's no hammer, that's no moon. It's a nothing burger candle, a lower low. Right, your lowest monthly candle close since January, actually. Just more indecisions, nothing, okay? What's happening? Thank you for the uh, contribution. Egg, man. Bullish Arami on the last bar candle. Hmm. Okay, so we got to look at something, man. We, we got to look at one, okay? BRQS. This was the first trade setup posted of the month, okay? For patrons, it was, the date was June 1st, 2021. Yes, 30 days ago, this was posted. Why? Why not? Look at it. The asset was sitting at a price of around 89 cents. Okay, don't you understand what we do here? What we're looking for are assets that are doing stuff like this, springing in May, running and then back testing the spring in June from levels that go back to July and August and November of last year. Huh, okay. And so what happened? I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, dude. It's like, See what happens, Larry. This asset's up 45.71% today, hitting the first target of the trade set up. Shall we look? Shall we take a gander at what it looked like on the first? Here it was, 89.79 cent entry. As you can see, size it up, man. Like, why was the stop where it was? The stop loss because we were playing the back test of the spring. It was springing back testing spring already, right at the beginning of the month. Okay, it just took time. So that is why it's the lowest of low risk areas you could ever receive uh, trading a range, okay? Stop loss. Why was the stop loss there? Because you're playing the back test of the spring. You don't want to be messing with the asset below that that low from July last year. You just don't. Even I mean, it's like even if it goes down to 80 cents again, okay? So you're playing the back test of the spring. That's the strategy, all right? One month later, boom. There it is. You have gap up. I don't know. It's a Chinese telecom company, but I don't. Don't you know if you watch the stream, you pay attention to at least my analysis, whatever. We love China stock. China stocks look great, man. What just happened? Did my internet? No, we're good. Okay. I'm praying the internet doesn't go out ever again. So, uh, second target, 192. Just makes sense, right? I mean, like, there's just been multiple times the asset's gone up there. Probably would have been smarter to be like 190. I don't know. I'm just looking at that high from June of last year, the low of March of last year, the high from March of this year, you know? So that's it, man. But hey, if you missed this one, BRQS, Borks Technology. What a weird name, Borks, dude. Remember, it was low risk. There goes my webcam again. God dang it. 
Hi, I'm back. Mike thinks Momo's next. What about IQ? Look, dude, despite failure or success, you can't say it's not at a low risk, lowest of low risk area ever, right? IQ. What a spring, what an attempted back test of spring right now. You're working on it. And it could just, it could take a month. It could take a while, but I mean, the patient man wins. China to me, China, yeah, dude. And then it's like, yeah, we can just move on real quick. What about Momo? Yeah, down 2% today, dude, pay, it's, it's, the, it's a patient game. It's a huge structure. The structure goes back to 2016. You have to understand an asset that is showing a structure so large like this. We're talking so far, it's like 1,920 days, dude. It's gonna take a minute for it to play out, but you're at the point where the reversal would be coming soon. This is it. This is it, man. You've got everything kind of in, in the uh, the baking tray to turn on the oven on Momo. And this one would just be sitting on it and it could take months. But hey, man, it's taken months and you're not in cash. Cash depreciates and Momo moons and eventually sees $40 again. Momo is pretty much a momentum stock anyway, so. to me yeah you know, LAC looks great too but it's not like it's Chinese or anything right there there are other ones too what was the other one Biozun we're just hey it's the China Chinese hour right what am I doing let me what am I doing this music okay what's up hey, here we go dude we're, we're just gonna do this okay Isn't BTC six month candle a bear shooting star? Can still go up in July, but when will it drop based on this? It's a shooting star, but it's a green shooting star. We looked at that already. Well, you know, Ben, there's a magic, magic niche. Thank you for the threes. Welcome to China, the Chinese part of the stream, man. Resistance must be broken at 1668, but once you do that, a lot of upside, man. Tremendous upside. This is pre-communism China music, okay? So we're good for the Great Leap Forward or whatever when they erased all their beautiful old culture. We love ancient Chinese culture and the music, man, okay? The Chinese communists had nothing to do with this music, okay? So Momo and then Biozun or something. What is it? Biozun. Yes, yes, not a very good day today, down 5% almost. Yeah, it was ugly. And it may not play out, dude. Okay, it may not succeed, but it's kind of like at lower levels. Stop talking about Ethereum. This is the Chinese moment of the stream, all right? Talk about Neo, because Neo is Chinese, man. So there was hidden bullish divergence here on Biozen, but... Uh, you're at the uh, neckline of the potential inverse head and shoulders. It's kind of weird, but you couldn't break it. You're still below the 200-day moving average. Positive momentum, pathetic. Uh, this could be headed back down to 3179 to test it. You know, if it, uh, things don't go well, we'll see. We'll see what happens, all right? And then we just... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, we should look at that one. Oh, gosh, dude, look at Total. Total looking good. You got some Chinese S-coins in there helping Total out. Yes, yes, yes. Another Chinese asset. China, man. It's China to me. You got Baidu that could be Adam and Eving, possibly. One bottom, a second bottom, and on the second bottom you got like a higher low. And there was certainly, to some extent, some bullish divergence. Nice. Your first higher low, Baidu's, really made since late January of this year. You could also say this is like an X, A, B, C, D, and on the D, one bottom, a second bottom, confirmation low. This was like a, a bullish alternate bat of some sort, possibly, right? Y'all hear me? Is it too loud? 
probably. Yep, it's a little bullish alternate bat, man. And then you got one bottom and two. It's everywhere, dude. It's China to me. It's China, like all Chinese assets looking interesting as F. So, I mean, your upside is for sure, like 226. You could also be like, it's a range, man. A range between 173 and 226. And it's like right at the bad action magnet move. It's down 1.82%. So we had a trend we noticed today was just not good for China stocks, but that's okay. So like, what do you do when you break this point right here? That's the Scott Carney bad action magnet move where it's a high probability area where if you break that, you normally go to the 786, 886. Um, and so that would probably be around 220. Yeah, it's been a correction, man. But uh, hopefully it can hold. Well, these look, look go all the way back to 2011. These are major areas of consolidation and an uptrend. All right, so let's look at the schkamp to close it out. It's beautiful, dude. Okay, you just wait. Once this is how this index fund is going to moon. All these Chinese assets that look primed for higher prices are going to play out. And then it's going to get the Schkamp, the Shanghai Composite, to break this crazy neckline, this resistance. Does that mean I'll be this moon if it's China season? Uh, I don't know, dude. Egg, I know Neo to Bitcoin looks interesting. That means like maybe Neo to Neo to the US dollar could outperform Bitcoin. Right? Well, it's like, I'm saying it's at a critical area of support inflection that must be held and it looks like it's holding it for now. So after a big drawdown. Anyway. Uh, yeah, once you break 36.76, see ya, you're going to 41.27. There's lots upside on the Shanghai Composite. Okay, that's it, man. China. Back to America. 14 minutes till your daily, monthly, quarterly, bi-yearly candle close. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit the like button, the bell, that sub. Wow, I got some jet lag. We just went across the world. Okay, uh, we're, so let's get the request now. All right, okay. Sorry for keeping you waiting. There's only like two requests, dude, so chill. Maybe three, I don't know. All right, let's look at, uh, well, Ubi, Ubi said, uh, let's go Ethereum. You know, we did look at Ethereum already that is pumping. It's at uh, pretty much its highest level of the day. Highest candle close coming since for real June 17th if it closes right now in 13 minutes yeah looking very good on there uh, so next one the real request like was was chain link that's doing something extremely good chat do you hear me men look at this specimen falling wedge yes XABCD behavior too it hit a 100% retrace didn't it perfectly like the Jesus from May 23rd, the same price, literally like 30 days later, 29 days later. It's like perfect. But what was most um, impressive about this was the down sloping price contraction. And on the second low, one one bottom, a second bottom, that, can, that there was just continuation of divergence, right? Just kept making lower lows, lower highs, but that RSI looked great on the four hour. But now look what's going on. You broke out falling wedge now you're back testing the supply line that's now a demand line you oh bullishly goodness. engulfed off of it nice thoughts on hmy triggered my stop loss sad little breakdown what's up Jagger? we'll look at it thank you man sure did yeah maybe it makes sense china stocks bullish during quarterly rotation because maybe in the next quarter is all on all china technically looks like that Okay, so you want to get back above twenty dollars, man. You want to get above twenty. That is a that is critical. August of twenty twenty, you get above that. I think there's a lot of upside. Twenty five bucks, right? So you're talking what is that? Twenty five percent upside, thirty percent upside, roughly. If you get above that for real, that's that's chain link. <clears throat> it's doing something really nice, but I think a few more things, a few more things need to be done. Okay. Let's go, CBT. Thank you, man, for the fitty. Hmm. 
Very kind of you. Cheers. Oh, I'm drinking my uh, my very exclusive Tia Mitre coffee mug today with the Pepe, the rare Pepe, the Vegas Pepe. Yeah, we got 11 minutes, and Bitcoin's at its highest level on this four hour right now. Okay, so Chainlink poised, you think, right? You think Chainlink's poised for $25 if Bitcoin continues its rally to 38.5 40K. Yep, I think Chainlink will be at $25 if Bitcoin sees 38.5 40K, all right? It's, it's a beautiful way. It's like probably one of the prettiest wedges I've seen on this market. I don't, you know, it's just there. It just exists, it broke out. It's doing literally everything that we try to teach in here Breakouts back, tests of breakouts, bullish engulfings off of the old supply lines. They then become demand lines. It's pretty freaking good, man. That's just me on, on link. And then you get a link to BTC, which is also at an interesting level. Here it is. This is incredible, dude. Okay, incredible. Not incredible, incredible, right? Uh, it's a crazy level of congestion. You hit it once, just kidding. You hit it twice. Molds with a look at the spring back test of spring and then bullish engulfing candle off of it. So that means this kind of implies in an X A B C D to boot like a bullish bat pattern. God, man, just too many variables are lining up on link to BTC right now, aren't they? Right. It's like 886 right there. That's your reaction reversal area. Boom. And dude, that, this is it. So this could be like a trade setup. Remember this trade setup, how literally, literally perfect it was. You could be doing the same thing. Just, just a shot for shot remake. Instead of a Gartley, it's a bat. And upside could take you to 775-241-79406. Which is like, I don't know, 750,000 Satoshis or something like that, right? Upside holding this from where it is literally right now. I mean, you're talking like 34% upside. I mean, the targets, aggressive targets, like 860,000 Satoshis and change, man, all right? So Link, nice request because I was, and that, again, hey, it's paying off for me for scanning some of these Bitcoin pairs. Good God, dude. I, the watch list, I've got so many of them that are just like, they're red. So that means like they don't exist anymore. Like you can't like, so I'm hitting space bar, space bar, and it's just like blank screen. I'm like, oh, it's BCPT to BTC. Can't even believe it. It's like the blunder years. I'm looking back at my old watch list from 2018. I'm like, I can't even believe people would ask me about these things. How did I even know about them? People would request them. No, no, no. Can so you big. check TSCO on LSE on the monthly? It's broken above the Ichimoku cloud for tail first time since 2011. Not sure if that means anything. What? We'll look at it, Egg. Thanks for 20, dude. Yeah, sure. Add to the list. Link to BTC. Could be ready for outperformance of Bitcoin. That's just what it means. It doesn't mean that Link's going to insane levels. It just means, you know, outperforming Bitcoin. I did bring it up already. Um, did I? Yeah, I think. Oh, let me see. All right now, made sure we had it. Sweet. <clears throat> okay, next one. Clean energy fuels. I've been here before. And I, I know back then it was like, meh. It's still meh. I mean, I know you asked about it. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's a wedge. Never mind. It's actually a pretty freaking nice wedge. Um, I think it was just kind of like, hey, uh, not really the greatest. You could probably find something else that's better. Look, you're below this low from 2007 where most of the time when you break that, really bad things can happen. So you're just, I think it's still really iffy here. Okay, you wanna get above 1080, you're below it. Anything above 1080, I'll feel better about it. I know you've requested it before. We've looked at it on stream and I'm like, it's a nice wedge, but uh, it's been selling off. It's down 1.55% today and I want it to be above 1080. And it is interesting, it is lined up with this low right here, so. 
we have any, okay, price action correlation here, and then in May of 2009, oh, and then here, kind of, 2011, oh, and then 20, okay, so it's like a zone, and you're Ooh. right at the bottom of that zone, man, so, so hold, let's one, just pay US. attention to that. Father Jughead, thanks for the 20, we'll look at Luna. The US dollar teller, thank you, I'm sure, I think I've looked at it, it didn't really stick out as anything insane. No more than others. There's others that look way better than Luna, I believe. Just because I know some uh, other watch list. I uh, spam through or scan through. Okay, so maybe this is it, dude. So just monitor it. You, if you can stay above it and you start bouncing above it for real and you get confirmation closes and it's resounding and it's nice, I think you could be in really good shape. But let's get some more data. Let's see if it can bounce. Let's get some price action above it, right? That's it. It's just not looking too good after this big pop, you know, this breakout. Maybe it comes to back test the 200 day moving average again or the down sloping old resistance of the falling wedge that was textbook, you know. Here's your CLNE. Yeah, well, it ended up being a pretty decently strong clues, man. Oh, yeah, I remember this one, dude. You remember this. It's Watt. What are you talking about? We're talking about this, a bullish nothing because it's a 73% retrace on B, but held that demand line May 13th, right? The one that stems all the way back to April of last year and December of last year, you bounced, but unable to break very critical levels. I mean, it's so important that was it still has not been over. I do think it's cool that it went up to test it that day, June 9th. Uh, so it's all about the ifs on this one, right? There's nothing really implying upside. It's showing massive amounts of accumulation, but it's just unable to break a very critical level, right? Once it breaks $5, then it could go nuts. It could literally go insane. I mean, we're talking, I think the price, the upside above 491 is Forty-five percent, like we saw that day in, in late February. So if you ever get above that, great. If not, it means just I don't know. It could hit it and then fail. It's holding the demand line for now, right? And there's not much of any edge on W A T T Watt. Okay. J J Watt Connect, Regeneron Connect, Grubman. Yeah. That's it, dude. Deep retrace at the demand line. It's cool and all. There was divergence there, bounce, but again, you gotta break 366 to 491. Otherwise, you're screwed. Okay, it's, uh, it's Zedge. I haven't been to this one before. I mean, it was great. There was tremendous amounts of accumulation in the end. We were kind of like range bound, right? Range bound asset. And then you broke out. Like you broke the top of the trading range from February 11th. Kind of reminds me of a lot of other tech assets. Is it packaged software? There you go, it's, it's tech services, go figure. So yeah, you did nothing for a lot of the year and until recently you broke out. You even back tested the breakout multiple times. Uh, this was the price action correlation to the initial creation of the top of the range, right? Multiple, look at this, it's beautiful. Uh, and you never quite got down to the bottom, right, it could have been like that. I mean, multiple little lows there, but you tested near the bottom. Look at that bullish engulfing candle. No, that was a bullish, not bullish engulfing, that was almost a piercing line. I don't know, you really got too much of a signal. There was no edge either when it reversed, so meh. So I mean, what are we gonna do? We're gonna fib extension from previous high to low. Hit the one four and four. You're losing your positive momentum. You haven't seen negative momentum on this asset since May twentieth. You made a lower high. It could be time to back test fourteen seventy eight again. I don't really see anything that sticks out as a great like trade right now. You know, like, oh, it's great low risk, high reward opportunity area, right? 
kind of hidden bullish divergence a little bit maybe nah yeah i don't, I don't really see i think it, it it broke out right it um it hit this low from march 29th it hit the 200 moving average for the first time since october of last year held it as support for a while and then it's off and we see a bunch of them that it were recently doing that and they've been taken off so uh, that's stuff to pay attention to so that's the edge there's no edge and you're at fib extensions right now yeah i mean like upside you could say 21 22 would be the golden mean ratio from your previous high to low whatever dude not like exit it's not a momo it's not an iq Okay. Yeah, dude, just gold, man. It's been terrible. It's just been bad, man. Everything connected to gold is wrecked. Even if it's at lower levels, it just happens, man. It sucks. It was off. It was doing really good things. It was. I mean, what do you, what can you do when you have breakouts so significant, and then the one asset that uh, drives this market, you know, dumps. I mean. Stop loss triggered. I, I don't think you want to be messing with this asset below 385, 387 or whatever. I don't think you want to be messing with it. I mean, historically, what happens at that level, you normally go down to 250. All right, chat, we've done it. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. We have a new weekly, a new. Oh my God, don't have to really change it. Dang it, dude. Stupid app. Okay, um, new week, or a new four hour, new daily, a new monthly, a new quarterly, a new bi month, bi yearly candle has been worn. Beautiful. Nothing burger on the daily close. Meh, just nothing. Right? Engulfing candle yesterday. <sighs> monthly candle, there it is. That's what it closed as. This big indecision candle, lowest candle close since January. Quarterly candle, lowest quarterly candle close since October. Okay. Ooh, lightning alert, it's scary. Yeah, and just remember, um, if you're looking for trade setups like BRQS, water, I would just, just be updated on like, what is a good IQ, just, assets that look good and you want to see the charts and to see a little more in depth in the stream a uh, great way to do that is by joining patreon which you can do that tomorrow tomorrow's the best day to join the patreon i gotta bring it up man i never talk about patreon you notice oh two and a half three weeks have gone by mitch never talks about patreon oh i'm gonna talk about it at the beginning of the month because it's the best time to join right and I'll, that's the only time i'm gonna annoy you with it and then most of the month i never talk about it so imagine getting offended about that okay or annoyed all right, so um, you would wait till tomorrow. Don't join right now. Wait till stream time tomorrow to join. You can you get the Jesus chimes, right? So, so dead middle of a range on Bitcoin. Okay, HMY terrible right at that level. I mean, just like you saw the historical price. Maybe if it springs back up, we could look at re-entering or something. But dude, gold right now just. There was that one trade on gold spot price, and then that was it. It hit the third target, and then it dumped all the way back down to entry stop loss so levels. Then you just tipped twenty three dollars and twenty cents. Remember PHAUSD? This is insane. I bet this will amaze you too. What do you see? Smile. One point one nine zero 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 link. I thought it was Sulta, not Sutta. Sutta, thank you for the link contribution. Getting me. Thanks for fueling it up, dude. We think that might appreciate value if Bitcoin keeps going and it might outperform Bitcoin based on the BTC chart. Well, look at it. <coughs> Fall? All right. Okay. Ethereum monthly close, what it look like. Eugene Krabs tipped $23.33. Kind of Can we look at ammo? 0 0.0006668 BDC. So Eugene, yeah, we'll look at uh, that. We'll look at AMA. Thanks for the 23 of Bitcoin. Wow, crypto contributions, man. I love it, dude. You know, I never sell those. They just compound. 
So, I mean, if you're going to tip me, hey, go for it. Tip me in crypto, you know? All right, let's see here. Oh, wow. Paris Hilton tipped me 36 XRP. And, uh, and it's broken because when you tip me an XRP or XLM, for some reason the app bugs out. So this is what Paris Hilton said. Hi, Mitch, my dear. Watching you occasionally. Love your coach attitude. Could you take a look at Monero? Looking for a possibility to hide my capital from the commies. 36.374850 XRP. Thank you so much, uh, Paris Hilton. Yeah, we'll look at that. Which is literally next on the list. Uh, Wow. Uh, Monero actually looks really good. Not so much on the monthly, but, um, but dude, Monero on the four hour, pretty lit. Just kind of like uh, an XABCD, you know. Whether you look at it from here or here, it's like Garley esque, you know. It's kind of weird here on this high, you know. So that's why I kind of. I don't know, I think it's just like the same thing as all the other ones. There was bullish divergence on the second low. You're rallying, you're at this major 223 area. Dude, if you break 223, look at this. Okay, look at it. When you really broke 223, where it went. Okay, and why? I'll show you why. You go back. What was it, on the daily, maybe? It was pretty significant on the daily, I thought. Oh, candle high closed back from March of 2018. That is why the candle, I mean, a, a wick low from December 2017, wick low from February 2018. Um, I just think it's a huge area. Oh, dude, and it's just, it looks so good on the daily, too. Wow. Uh, on the daily, my God, there's like stupid bullish divergence, like crazy on the MACD. And technically the RSI, like a low and then the lower low. Paris Hilton, let's buy some Bitcoin. Hey, Peter Schiff, he's joining the party, man. Thanks so much, dude. The threes. Welcome. We got all the celebs in the house. We got celeb shots. All right, so divergence. Positive Momo's building. It's all on Bitcoin, man. If Bitcoin can rally here, it's going to be great news for Monero. Going to be a real... Not, this will be like an X, A, B, C. C to D wave where you could run up to $379 to $400. Okay, off of this. It looks really good. It's all in Bitcoin. Oh, obviously. It's like just the homogenous market gonna be homogenous, man. It happens. Okay. There you go, Paris. Good luck hiding your money from the commies. Alright, next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was insane, dude. It was absolutely ludicrous. It was a broadening top pattern. Broadening top, look at this. Partial declines like crazy. All the divergence didn't matter. Rally hit, hit start at start 188.93. It was beautiful. It broke this crazy supply line. Look at this supply line that goes all the way back to October of 2013. Is that that plotted, man? It was real. And you can sell you when you broke it. Oof. It was nice. So uh, that played out. Now I don't really. Do I see something that's extremely significant? I mean, there's like that high from February it was back tested as support. There was an edge there on the day. There was some bullish divergence on the MACD, and it did usher in the reversal. But um, beyond that, I don't really. Nice testing the 200 moving average for the first time since February. It's running. Uh, I guess you're in an uptrend or something, right? I mean, like this shorter term uptrend, yeah, something like that, like a channel of some sort. Ooh, that's nice. It's kind of just what's going on. You got this like uptrend, the heart line, pretty well respected. And I don't know if there's really much of an entry for a long at this current time since it's well off, maybe a demand line or something like that. Okay. Very good though. I mean, I'll tell you this. If it can break that heart line, at least you got a target right here for a gap fill. Gap fill of 195.80. That's where it could be headed. 
and then lot upside above that. I mean, if it's gonna do its thing and, and make all time highs, you're talking about like supply lines that were like 216 moving target, right? You got Fibonacci extensions too, if it ever broke all time highs, high to low, right? 208, 212, 218. Wow, the golden mean ratio up there. Okay. It's not a, um, hey, it's time to bake a cake on Tractor Supply Company. Gosh dang it, and he asked for a Tractor Supply Company on the London Stock Exchange. It's Tesco, it's not even Tractor Supply. I've been here though, I have memory of this place. Ascending Triangle, man. That's the wrong TSCO, Tesco London Stock Exchange. Yeah, dude, it looks pretty interesting, isn't it? Still, it's still in a major downtrend. Shoot, dude, since like the global financial crisis, but you know, some change, right? Momo is shifting, consecutive higher lows going on. Sell wall 253. And it's not really, I mean, it's like near the bottom of that demand line or so, but dang, it's just. Go to the weekly. Yeah, there's still a lot of work to do, right? 253, and then <clears throat> after that, 292, you got to break. Now, if you ever break 292, that's where a huge markup begins, but um, hard to argue, right, with it. Something changing, right? I mean, you could extend this down, like you could see that demand line goes all the way back to the bottom. So you don't want to, I don't think you want to break that, but if you can hold that, I mean, it's all about if it holds, you break 253, then you run it 285, 292, you break 292, you go to 387, and then you reverse the overall downtrend it's been in for literally over 10 years. Awful. Reversed at a very critical level, didn't it? Yeah, sure did. But unfortunately, you're kind of like near the top of that other range where I'm just, I anchored um, the high point from February 2015, 2018, 2019, 2020, and closer to this year, you tested it, but you have not been able to break that. It's a steel wall, a huge sell wall at 253. It's all about if you can break that, hold the demand line, and, and it will eventually reverse. But you have to understand, you are still in a bear trend. Consecutive lower highs, lower lows for over a decade. That is not a bullish trend, okay? Even if it's making higher lows, you get accumulated. This is accumulation in a downtrend. It happens all the time. So eventually you can break that and have a nasty fall all the way down to 156 again. If the trend continues, it's gross. This is just not good. Why, why would you settle for something like this when you don't have to settle, right? You don't have to settle at all. Find something that's making consecutive higher highs, higher lows, in and uptrend. The macro is bullish. The macro is not bearish. This would be great to trade and go short on in a bear market. If the macro is bearish, if the, you know, I'm sure the Federal Reserve didn't exist right now, the stock market would be in a bear trend. Okay, <laughs> for sure. Hmm, my trend lines, oh, the white one isn't. There's only one here that's not showing up, my bad. It's just because I've charted all this stuff and like my chroma key changed somehow. There it is. What's so up, Rolls Royce? Hello there, Mitch. Can you check out Big well, Look at Big G, man. That's a my dude. Here's a. Here's a. There, there it is. That's what the demand line is. My bad, dude. Alright, next one. Oh, actually, this one's pretty interesting. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it, you know. Well, it's really interesting, dude. Like, what it had to hold, Luna, it sprung it back. We have a few of these that are doing this. It's really amazing, okay? Assets that are hitting these levels back from February, January. Look how it sprung. It back tested the spring and it's rallied. Dude, look at DOT, D-O-T. Holy crap. So I think that, like, you have this zone right on this asset and it's nearing the top. I think the upside could take you to $77.34, $7.67, right? It's just a zone, man. Look, as you can see, right, it's perfect. It's, it's very similar to Bitcoin, right? 30 to 40K, okay, it's $5 to $7.50 on Luna. So it was, again, too deep on B to be anything. It, and then it hit an 8.86 roughly, sprung back test of the spring. And that's the stuff you're looking for. That's exactly what you want to see on assets. All right, at this correlation of price action to historical trend lines. 
can can do amazing. We'll see what did the asset do? How much did it appreciate in value after a successful spring back test? Up 34% in four days. It's pretty amazing, dude. Astounding. That's it. Okay, moving on. My internet up right now. Dude, where is the data? Do I remember fall? Was I here recently or something? God, it's so good. The daily was effing unreal, dude. So I guess it's just like, what can you do? I mean, look, just look at it, man. It was like, I think it was too shallow. I was about perfect. It was like a perfect alternate bat. Dude, it was almost like a perfect alternate bat. Never, it never got, it just got a reaction and that was it. <clears throat> yeah, I remember fall back in March, killed it. It was insane, technical. I mean, technically beautiful uh, bullish garlic that went nuts. But uh, yeah, I mean, upside, not much left, right? I mean, 96 cents. So there's not much more. Like I mean, like you talking about, even for orders right now, it's, it's got like 10% upside. So it's not too much in crypto. It could come all the way back down to 68.8 since the bank tested as support. It's, it's, look at the range, man. Up and down, up and down. Right? So that's it's 8% 8, 8 up today. Uh, what you've got like TLT, right? Or it might be the yield. Okay, uh, so it's cool to have remembrance of this coin since we've been here before, Solta, but in terms of being able to apply the formula that uh, we are looking for every stream on request, especially, it, it isn't there. It's cool to look in hindsight, but I get it. There are going to be people that are going to be like, dude, this guy's just looking at things in hindsight, man. It's like, yeah, we look at, cause I, I mean, I didn't, this is not on my watch list. I wouldn't scan for it. No patron was bringing up Fa, you know, like it's just, you can't catch them all. They're like Pokemon, dude. So, um, cool that it played out like this, but even then it wouldn't have been that great. Cause it's like, you're looking for confirmation lows, right? Right, just for instance, confirmation lows, dude. We got a great example of confirmation low. We just go back right here. Confirmation lows, dude. Harmonics, and then they one back test, and the second back test, and then at the second back test, you have that divergence. That's, and then maybe falling wedge too. Beautiful, and this is what dreams are made of. Look what happens, Larry. That's, and you don't want to settle, man. It's like you want to find this formula and apply it every time, okay? That was it though, that's, that's, that's the education dude, it's not much I guess, but uh, all right, next one. Huh. There's, I, I'm taking you on an AMMO, but there's actually a, something on the New York Stock Exchange called Ammo, the company, but it's POW, P-A-W-W, -W, get it like POW, like shooting a gun. Dude, what can I do with this? 8,000 volume on ammo, Bullet Exploration Incorporated, real estate development, what's going on? Finance, what? Nothing makes sense, dude. I can't chart this, man. Oh, it's just, you wanted pal? No, what? Eugene wanted at ammo. This is ammo, A-M-M-O, Bullet Exploration, 8,000 volume. You'd never trade someone with 8,000 volume, dude. It's, it's insane. Okay, it's like you and like, 10 other people are trading this. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe I'll go to PAL, you know, and just see, which is Ammo Incorporated. And I've been here before. 
and it, and he, I mean, this probably makes way more sense. It's beautiful, dude. It was, it was just so nice, like so good looking. Okay, so good. There's tremendous amounts of accumulation going on throughout the year. This is like Bitcoin, man, for six just plus months, dude. How oh. do you like your new home so far? Heart? Uh, I love it, man. I mean, but you know, there are obviously hiccups. There are things I'm waiting on. You know, got some more of my motorized blinds uh, installed today, but then just ordered a bunch of new ones, dealing with my other property downstairs. That's a lot of work, you know, a lot of money being put into that. Uh, but I love it, man. It's it's so nice. It sure as heck beats chilling in the suburbs every day. At least I got a nice view. You know, I can eat dinner out on my patio, in front of the, the you know the skyline. The it's just nice, dude. I love it. I freaking do love it. Thank you, man, for the for asking. Okay, but ammo upside 1095. I mean, that's been I don't know how long we've had this plotted, dude. This is it was showing hidden bullish divergence. That divergence played out. Give it a demand line. Oh my God, there's this awesome little hindsight harmonic. So I just haven't been following. Look how beautiful that was. That was absolutely gorgeous. Holy crap, was it a textbook garley? It was a textbook freaking garley. Wow, dude, I just wish that I had it on my watch list. Literally the Jesus garley. Whew. That's what you're looking for right there, man. The garley. I mean, just too perfect too. Mm. Wow. Highest level it hit today since yesteryear. Yesteryear was 2001. Yes, 2001. That's whack, dude. I I'm sure this is probably what he meant, okay? Because look at it, you know, this, this would make way more sense to request, so. Oh, I'm still frozen? God, dude. That's so annoying. Hey, internet gets fixed, but then the webcam's broken. There's always gonna be something, dude. We're never gonna have perfect, no tech problems. It's like never gonna get resolved. <clears throat> dude, Christopher, I don't know, man. Like, there's probably better people to ask, okay. All I do is I look at a chart and it looks good. Anyway, so that's uh, Pal. See it, ten ninety five, eleven dollars. Beautiful hindsight, garlic. It was so nice, man. Anyway, um, next request. I've never been here before. This was great. If you asked for it way back, man. Oh my God, dude! You should have asked about this in April or something. See, like this is, dude, at one time this was gorgeous. It, I mean, maybe it still could be gorgeous, but look what's going on, dude. I mean, look, it, it, it pulled kind of like what a, um, what BRQS did, right? Kind of Speaking strong, back tested it. Uniswap, smiley face. What's up, BK? We'll look at it. Thank you, man. We will look. So, I mean, like, it's hard to be, like, bullish on this below 395, right? That the top of the range, it's kind of like, looks to me kind of like a zone here of support resistance. And anything below $4, 422, tough to be confident, right? But anything above that could be amazing, right? I mean, just look at that. Very nice zone. The inflection zone, man. No, no. Congrats on the new pad, Mitch. Hope you are enjoying it. Here's a tip for a pack of Irwin coffee for you. Call it a housewarming gift. Thank you, B. Washington. With a 15, man. Man, thanks for uh, being around all this time, dude. You, B. Washington was the one that single-handedly, he made me do it. He he bought me um, the motherboard for this PC and it's still in there, B. Washington. We're still using it. All right, thank you, dude. So, um, look at that. It was like a low March 8th, then the lower low April 16th, then the higher low May 6th, the Momo was shifting it, and it was getting back with that 200 day. It looked pretty good. Oh man, it was uh, it was just so much better. I, at this point, like, if you get it before 22, I think you could see fireworks. I think it could be 4th of July for this asset. 
right? I'm thinking like it could see like seven bucks if we can get above it. Like you can see the price action, it gets wacky above this level, but until you're above it, it's there's a lot of downside potential, okay? So yeah, keep your eye on BBIG because it could go to 738 if it gets back above 422, that's it. That's your, that's all I can do for you, all right? It was a beautiful range though. Just near the top of the range, right? That motherboard, that's why my camera keeps freezing? Probably. No, no, it's actually a known thing, a known issue on OBS that they never addressed. The issue has been going on for like a year. I mean, it's just weird. When you have multiple cameras plugged into your computer, your motherboards, OBS just freaks out. Go Google that. Go Google OBS, multiple cameras, freezing, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's everywhere. Whew. Nice, caught up on uh, requests. Barn Bridge, still incredible. Oh my God, still like, dude, it never got to the PCZ April 27th, but now it has, certainly. And it's at the reversal area. This actually looks incredible, dude. Wow. How about that? And textbook bullish cipher at its padding completion zone. Bullish convergence going on. Let's see what happens, man. That's in the upside $77, $89 still the targets on this. Okay, so it's it's like at its reversal point, okay. Maybe one time, two times. Like one low. Two lows? Dang. How about that? Bullish convergence on the daily. Not bad. Looking kind of like a snack. That's all, I mean, I wish I could do more. It's already charted, right? I've already done the, did the work and we've come back to the work and time's gone by and finally the PCZ, like May, late May and and here we are. Look, you just extend it out. Where, what's it actually doing? Where's it pivoting? Literally right at it, man. Okay, I can't get it perfect. It's like perfect, dude. Upside on bond, even where it is right now. And then it was like 120%, 121% upside on this, if this actually, if the TA is respected on bond to USDC, okay? <clears throat> accumulation going on and confirmation of accumulation for now. And that's it, dude. Been live one hour, 19 minutes. We were able to witness some history on the stock market. Well, at least we covered the history on the stock market that happened and highest monthly Highest quarterly, highest buy yearly candle closes of all time. There goes my webcam again, dude. Jesus. I'll, I'll try to figure it out by tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. All right, man. So, uh, dude, look at engine. Look at engine. One bottom, two bottoms on the daily. Is it a double bottom? Stupid bullish divergence on the oscillators on the daily. Four hour was like a bat. It was a textbook bullish bat. And engine man, engine above this uh, low from March 7th. You better look out, dude. You could go to 137. And it's up 1.5 percent on the new month, the new day. Yeah, 137. Look at the price action correlation. Straight up, straight down, straight up. Straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Right, normally, and then straight down. So I think that's probably where it's headed. Engine's probably going to 137. Okay, and then if you're aggressive on targeting 176, and then $2. Engine broke a supply line. The ed you have the edge on the daily, the four hour, and a supply line's broken that goes all the way back to April. Engine looks pretty decent, man. Pretty, pretty good, man. Not bad. Wi-Fi also did something spectacular today back tested the old area of support resistance that we've been talking about as support and then it bullishly engulfed 
very, very nice bullish engulfing candle. And I think the upside it could take Wi-Fi, I could see 39,650. Anything above 32K, that's where it's probably headed based on history. Okay, straight up, straight down. That's all it is between 32K and 39,650. Okay. Price targets for Matic. Daily looks nice. Price targets, uh, I mean, probably probably your first target, just to be real, 170. A dollar seventy. That's it. I mean, that that's like, like you got to break this little one twenty area, one fifteen area, one sixteen area, the high back from May thirteenth and the low from June twelfth. I think right above that, you get a one seventy. So the upside on this asset, if it goes to one seventy, where it makes the most sense, you got forty, you got forty eight percent upside on Matic, or TTS calls it Matic. Very good, Charizard. That's it. One seventy. We cool? Was that dude? No, that was super chat. All right. Pooh baby, wow, dude. Learn to read, okay? Because like you're on the Discord, obviously. If you're in the Discord, you would not say that at all. You'd be like, dang, dude, this guy put, this guy is here every day posting charts, literally eff every effing day, in charts only. I mean, the value in there is, is so, I mean, like, whatever, man. So, uh, J. Nathan, thanks for the two. Super chat. Super sticker, the thumbs up. Thanks, man. All right. Very good. We did it, man. We got a new month. Gonna go get some dinner. As it did. Thanks for uh, the likes, love, support, contributions, everything in between. Bitcoin's looking fine. It really is. And uh, could see 38,554. Eventually. All right. So I'll be back. Till next time. Respect the T A. Dang, dude. Johnny coming in with a hundred. Last moment. Thanks, brother. Respect. Dude, thank you, brother man. Icelandic Jesus man. Thank you, dude, for the C note. Y'all be good. Oh, it's it's like sunny up there till midnight, probably, right? 
Enjoy the sun while you can. Much love.
All right, one more for you, Johnny, man. Thanks, dude.
robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! I have some evidence Van Bear Pig could be in this area. That's pretty neat. And then, just like that, Adios, turd nuggets.